Okay, well, welcome to the first session of Robbie Talk. I decided that rather than try to remember all the questions I've ever been asked about the original Robbie, I'm going to be using my reproduction that I made to point things out, but I'll also be showing you uh, photos of the original Robbie of what we're talking about. Anyway, rather than try to remember everything I'm ever asked, I just We'll rattle off a few things and then you guys can leave comments down below of what more you want to know or would like to hear about. I'll just do another video then. It's easier than trying to uh, remember everything. But one of the first things I know that uh, I'm asked a lot about, well, two of the biggest things would be the lights that are used in Robbie and the color of Robbie. So let's start with the color. First, it depends which particular <laughs> movie or TV show you're referring to. Robbie has many different colors. He was getting repainted quite often as he would, he's a working prop and he gets damaged. Uh, when he was in Forbidden Planet with MGM, we can get into that. Um, let, me, let me flip the screen around so I can maybe see when I'm in camera or not. The closest off the shelf paint you're gonna find it's going to be this Model Masters gun metal. It's a spray lacquer. And then you top coat it with the Model Masters. Well, the number on the gun metal is 1455. The number on the lacquer top coat is 1459. Looks like that. These are the closest you're going to get off the shelf buying a rattle can to how Robbie looked in Forbidden Planet. Now, as he went on to other shows, for example, by the time he was pretty much retired and in the Cars of the Star Museum back in, what, the late 60s and early 70s and stuff, he was almost kind of a silver gray. But um, here's how we know. Over here, let's kind of set this camera up if I can. I don't know how bad the reflections are going to be. Over here, what we have is, this is a leg, part of Robbie's leg ball, clear down at his ankle. It's off the original Robbie the Robot. And this triangular piece of plastic right here, which I can move the camera a little bit more, maybe you can see even better, right there. That's off the back of Robbie's foot, near where the Jones plug would plug in to supply the power and everything to, uh, to Robbie. And uh, both of these pieces were given to me by uh, director William Malone, Bill Malone, who had Robbie for all those years after he left Cars of the Stars. He, Bill had him. And as you can scrape through the different layers of paint, you can see all the different uh, shades and colors that, that Robbie was. So we know what color he was in Forbidden Planet, and you can kind of see as he went on what colors he became. So it isn't too uh, big of a guess there. Now, as far as Robbie's lights go, I'm not talking about the neon tubes. I'm talking about his beam lights. You see that blue lamp sitting right there? That's one of the actual beam lights from Robbie that had burned out and had to be replaced. And back there is a, a spare. And basically, they were a vintage... Let me set the camera up here. If I can. Give you something to look at while I yamber. Uh, they were a vintage 1950s lamp that where did I put those? Right there. It was used in like Lionel train sets, like for a street light and stuff like that. But there's the lamp. It's 14 volt, very small screw base, like a an old style flashlight. This this is a mo this is a, a night light, like you guys would find anywhere from a three watt to a seven watt night light so you can get a reference of size so you can see how much smaller the actual lamps that are used in Robbie's beams that's his four-way beams that flash up in the ear cups and this is also the lamp that's used in the star drive in his heart box let's get closer to that and let's set up here so the star drive in the heart box, the star itself is supposed to be clear plastic. 
It's actually uh, made from plexiglass and then flame polished. And then the, the lamp that we just talked about there screws in the middle of that. And of course, the star drive rocks back and forth. The Geneva drive goes around and around. These are um, bayonet tube lamps. So let's take a look. Let's take a look in the book here. Let's find out the best way to do this first. Lots of people, here's a, uh, these are actual Robbie the Robot pictures. Now, of course, you have to keep in mind that by the time Bill Malone got Robbie, that was after Cars of the Stars, the heart box had already been gutted back in 1964 on the Twilight Zone uh, Whipples. By then, you had the three sequential light chest pattern and these flappers, whatever you'd like to call them. I'm going to call them flappers so you know what I'm talking about. This is the Geneva Drive and this would be the Star Drive. That stuff had been gutted. It was gone. No one had it. But this is what it should have looked like, as you can see. There's a domed back, the clear plastic star, the bulb in there. As far as top of Robbie's head go, a lot of people ask me questions about that as well. What you have is a large clear plastic disc, which has been machined with grooves in it, and then the grooves get painted white. They appear darker on the back side, and there's also holes drilled in it in which wire gets looped, white wire. This one, you can see the wire looped this way, and the disc is actually facing the camera. Some other shots of the dome assembly. These are all pictures that I took uh, back in the early 90s at uh, Bill Malone's house. There was uh, the head off. There's a bottom ring, which is a, uh, a metal ring, which fits and is held in place with uh, bearings to form a very large roller bearing assembly. And let's see here, if there's anything else you guys might find interesting. Well, just more pictures in general. Pictures I took showing different angles. Here's one of his feet. You might find that interesting. The toe caps snap on and come off and the shoe would be strapped inside. There's also eyelets for the bungee cables that go up that hold the uh, feet up in suspension. You can see one of the connectors on the back. Let's see if we have uh, the uh, off-screen control box for Robbie. You might find interesting. This is me and Bill Malone taking a look at it. Here you can see all the controls that they had for controlling the speed of the motors in Robbie, the brilliance of the lights, all, you know, all the controls that were done off, off stage. And there's a peek inside at the RIA stats that basically are doing all the work. And here's another picture. Here's a better picture of the foot. Try to minimize the reflections. You can see down inside there. The toe is hinged. They're in uh, there have been a couple of uh, TV shows that use the toe, the Lives of Dobie, Loves of Dobie Gillis, the, the one where they had Robbie on there. You actually see the toe tapping at the end because it had to do with the music industry. Here we get uh, more into the feet. Here's a picture of the bottom of the foot. As you can see when a shoe is put in there, there's actually a place where the heel can come through so you don't slide. You can, you can see the hinge point. And we're taking a peek down inside. There were uh, an extra set of feet. Besides the feet that are on Robbie, there was an extra set that is kept with the toolbox for him. This is a part of the Jeep, and there's a foot sitting there. And there's the Jones plug connector that would plug into the feet. Here's another picture of the bottom, which you might find interesting. And what else have we got here that you might like? The uh, Twilight Zone episode, Uncle Simon, that had the different head. There's the head disassembled. This is being uh, reworked by Bill, put back in shape. What had happened is a lot of the uh, paints that they had used had attacked some of the plastic parts and they'd getting all, all weird, so it had to be cleaned. And I think that's about all we're going to look at from Bill. I did a uh, recreation of the Twilight Zone head, the Uncle Simon head, which 
you can see it's actually here in the in the hut but here it is on the body that large ugly mold thing that's actually the this is a fiberglass shell that supports the silicon rubber mold that I use when I make my Robbie heads or back when I used to make my Robbie heads here I am standing next to Robbie with the T-Zone head trying to get the smile and pose that uh, they had for Twilight Zone and I'm be going clear back to the 90s again that's me standing with my Robbie, my B9 and my Gort so I think that's about all I was going to talk about on this first video because then you guys can let me know what what it is that you specifically would like to know that I haven't talked about. As long as I've got the camera rolling though, let's walk over and take a look at uh, the T-Zone Robbie. We'll have to pass uh, the Robbie and the Robbie Jeep. So here's the Robbie and the working Robbie Jeep that I built from the Studio Blueprints. C57D. And here we go. Now this, uh, here he is, I guess. I don't know that I can get a good shot of him anymore. I've got so much stuff hanging around. But here he is up here. I can try to raise the camera, but I can't see the viewfinder, so I don't really know if I'm getting him in frame or not. Hopefully I am. And there he be. And of course this is the Cyclops design, which uh, some claim was the original design for Robbie and then things were upped. Not 100% sure on that. But there are uh, blueprint drawings showing it. And it does have a documentation box, which is dated 55, so that would be a year before uh, they started building. So, could be. At any rate, I thought it'd be fun to build it, so I built that one full size. Now that I can 3D heart boxes, it's kind of a shame that I can't just knock that one out and put one of those in. But I'd hate to, uh, I'd hate to butcher that up. It looks just fine. So, okay, I think that's all I'm going to talk about on this one. You guys leave feedback below, and we'll take it from there. If you want to have more of these Robbie Talk sessions, let me know.